there's a mysterious and frightening outbreak going on in a small town in western New York State. Several girls from the same high school have ticks and twitches, usually associated with something closer to Tourette's syndrome. And so far, no one knows exactly why. NBC's Amy Robach first reported this story last month, and when she returned there this week, she found that whatever it is, it may be spreading. High school students Sarah Sanchez and Katie Krautwurst first started experiencing severe tics last fall. <laughs> Since then, more than a dozen young girls at Leroy High School in upstate New York have been sick with the very same problems. I was always so active and everybody was always happy to be around me, but I'm, I don't feel like myself anymore. Doctors who have examined the young women conclude that a psychiatric condition known as conversion disorder is to blame. This is a subconscious uh, effect that occurs in patients with, uh, who may be prone to anxiety or mood disorders, but this is definitely real symptoms. For the first time since symptoms started appearing in teenage girls in this small town, a 36-year-old woman not associated with Leroy High School is being treated for severe tics and Tourette's-like symptoms. Is it hard to walk? It looks like my, you're my, my, Well, my whole right side is affected. Oh. Marge Fitzsimmons is a local like mom and a licensed nurse practitioner. This is really scary. Mm -hmm. It's like somebody came in and mm, took home away. Now a team of environmentalists headed up by activist Aaron Brockovich believes the growing problem may stem from a train derailment near the school more than 40 years ago. The accident involved a large cyanide spill. This is a super fun site where a rail car spilled with pure product in one of the most complex geological areas. Brockovich's colleague Robert Bocock visited the school and site to take samples of his own. The Environmental Protection Agency has been at that site all week but insists it's not connected to the mystery illness. Aaron Brockovich's team has come down, these outside environmentalists testing soil. What are your thoughts on that? It's hard to talk right now, I'm sorry. At least somebody's doing something about it now. Fitzsimmons and so many other upstate families hoping for answers. Amy Robach, NBC News, Leroy, New York.